Well, an 87-year-old Christiansburg woman is trying to find a new way to get in and out of her home. For years, she parked near the railroad tracks and just walked across them. But as WSOS 10's Allison Wickline explains, that's no longer an option. Molly Neese has lived in this property for 50 years. She says crossing these railroad tracks has never really been an issue, but now a no trespassing sign says otherwise. Norfolk Southern just placed the signs earlier this week. Molly says representatives did contact her and let her know that it was a matter of safety and that no official railroad crossing means you can't cross. So now that Molly cannot park her car across the tracks, she has to park in a field behind her house, cross a footbridge on a creek, then walk another field before getting home. And for an 87-year-old, that's no easy trip. She says she doesn't understand the sudden change. I raised all my kids here. They went across the track. Wasn't a word said. Not a word. For they always looked when they went like I taught them to do. And didn't know words said about anything. Molly did have a footbridge closer to her house that made it a little easier to get in and out, but it washed away in a flood, and she doesn't have the ability to rebuild. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll take a look at the new path Molly now has to take. In Christiansburg, Allison Wickline, WSLS 10. Nine-year-old Christiansburg woman can now safely get in and out of her home thanks to a WSLS 10 viewer. Last week, we brought you the story of Molly Neese, who had to walk nearly three football fields with a cane to get home after her footbridge washed out. A Roanoke area contractor saw our exclusive story and wanted to help. WSLS 10's Allison Wickline has, was there as work got underway today. When we met 87-year-old Molly Neese last week, she was struggling to get in and out of her home. With train tracks in the front and a creek in the back, her path was pretty tough. But things have changed. After seeing Molly's story on WSLS 10, Randall Jenkins, a local contractor, stepped up to help. It kind of got to me seeing this little old lady having to walk, you know, like 300 yards to uh, get to her car and, you know, where she'd been parking, you know, the railroad says she couldn't do it anymore. And, you know, I was like, no 87-year-old woman should have to walk that far. Randall is hard at work on Molly's new footbridge right behind her house. I didn't think I'd ever get one until he come and told me he was going to build me a bridge. As an 87-year-old on a fixed income, Molly knew paying for a bridge herself simply was not an option. I couldn't do it, honey. I couldn't start paying for it, but I don't have no money left when I get my check. And so, you know, I got no more money coming in. Molly's determination to make it in and out of her home, crossing fields and a faraway footbridge, was amazing to see. <laughs> Today, an act of kindness under construction for a woman filled with gratitude. It's 100% uh, to me, honey. I tell you, it, it'd be tickle me to death when he gets done. The local Home Depot has donated nearly $800 worth of building supplies to help affordable measures complete this labor of love. It makes me feel good. I, I, I'm glad I can do it for her. Like I said, no elderly person should have to walk that far, especially with bad legs and knees and whatnot. So I'm just glad I could help. And Randall can breathe easy because this footbridge is now officially Molly approved. And they're doing a good job too. We're so happy for Molly. Randall says he's hoping to have the bridge finished by tomorrow so Molly can be on the move as soon as possible.